Hello Pouring Nation. Today I'm going to show you how to use isopropyl alcohol in your paint pouring. There aren't a lot of good applications for alcohol, but there are a few which I'm going to show you. I'm also going to talk about a couple of the pitfalls you definitely want to avoid so you don't burn your house down. Now this week I'm going to use some paints. One of my sister-in-laws gave me a whole bin of craft paints and I'm not one to waste craft paints. They are a little bit old. Some of them I had to throw out because they dried out, but most of them were really good. I had to strain a couple of the colors, but I love when people donate paint because then I can paint more. I tell everyone that this art, you really just have to do it to practice and to learn those lessons. This channel is really about experimenting. I want to experiment with all these little things so you don't have to, and you can just get to pouring and be successful as quickly as possible. So let's get to it. So let's just talk about the elephant in the room when it comes to alcohol in acrylic paint pours. Alcohol burns. You light that on fire in your home or in your workspace and you may be in a load of trouble. I don't recommend using a torch at all when using alcohol in your acrylic paint pour. As you can see, it burns. This is alcohol all by itself. I also tested burning paint that has a few drops of alcohol in it, like this. Paint that has half alcohol, half pouring medium, like this. And paint that has only paint and alcohol. As you can see, the only one that actually stayed on fire for any length of time was the paint and alcohol. Definitely don't do that. And for the last alcohol negative, alcohol breaks down some of the things that are in paint and in pouring medium, and you'll just end up with nacho cheese in a lot of cases. All right, now that we've talked about all the bad things that could happen with acrylic pouring, let's talk about the good ones. Alcohol is a great small cell maker or a great creator of lacing. Now you don't want to use too much alcohol to do this. I usually use uh, a couple of drops per cup. In this case I have these three ounce cups. They're two-thirds of the way full. So a couple drops of alcohol in this and it will help create very small cells kind of like you get with Floetrol by itself. But if you do things like a swipe, you'll get nice lacing. So we're gonna do those two things. We're gonna create a dirty pour, kind of a straight slash tree wing pour, just to show you the small little uh, cells you can get. And then we're gonna do a swipe, and I'll show you some of the bigger, nicer cells that you can get here. So with this mix, each one of these colors that I'm using are, again, they're leftover craft paints that I got from a friend. And each one of these colors is a different kind of craft paint. There's Craft Essential, there's Ceramic Coat, uh, Apple Barrel, Folk Art, and another Ceramic Coat. And then I'm doing the Flow Acrylic White from Artist Loft. I will link all the colors below. With each one of these colors, I'll show you how much I'm putting in. These alcohol containers uh, dump quite a bit, so I have this cup, this is about two and a half ounces, and I'm just doing maybe, maybe a quarter teaspoon, probably slightly less than that. I'm gonna mix that in. One of the reasons we don't use all alcohol is with some of the pouring mediums and some of the acrylic paints, it makes it start to bind up. Um, let me show you here. I made this yellow paint and it started to bind up as soon as I put the alcohol in. So what I do is I do my normal mixture and I make it just slightly more thick than it needs to be so that that little alcohol at the end uh, makes it the perfect consistency. I like to use Floetrol with alcohol. Floetrol is two parts pouring medium, one part uh, paint, or one part pouring medium, one part paint with craft paint, depending on how you're doing it. And then you need a little bit of water to make it create uh, a mound on a mound and then when I add the alcohol then it just becomes a quick mound and disappear. If I do this it takes a second or two and then disappears. That's what I'm going to use for both of these pours. So with alcohol you have to 
to work quickly otherwise it's just going to evaporate out of your paint so all of my paints now have a couple things of alcohol in them and i'm just going to fill this now this is an 8 by 10 canvas multiply that together gives you 80 square inches plus the side is 98 square inches so divide that by 25 is about how much we paint we need for this consistency of, of paint. So I need about four ounces of paint. This is a four ounce container that I'm overfilling just so I have a little bit extra. Now the faster you pour, the more the paint's gonna mix, the slower the pour, the less. And I kinda wanna mix it a little bit here. Now, this is alcohol. We don't want to use fire on it, so we're going to use a heat gun. And we're going to use the low setting of a heat gun because we don't want a lot of air pushing on that. But we do want a little bit uh, to help the cell creation. We're going to go in for a close-up here. One thing you will notice as we're doing this, that not only did we get those nice cells on the outside that are bigger than we'd normally get with Floetrol, so we get those little cells here, which is helped by the alcohol, but look what it does here to the paint mixing. The paint mixes differently with a little bit of alcohol in it, and it, I have had this little prism effect, it kind of looks like in a lot of paintings with alcohol. That's one place that I really like how it interacts with Floetrol specifically. I haven't seen this as much with other pouring mediums, but I just love that effect. See, it's kind of like a prism or a rainbow in, um, like on a waterfall, how that happens in the mist. I just love that effect. So this, again, is one place that I love to use a little bit of alcohol in my paint pouring. All right, so the second pour I like to do is a swipe pour. So we're gonna cover this. With paint. too much paint left on the canvas. Okay. Now we got everything covered. I my corners here or my sides here aren't covered very well. So. Let me lay our thick white down. Make sure we wet the edge of our Paper towel with a little bit of alcohol. Let it sit there. Just barely touch. We don't want it to do much. And then just swipe. Again, we're going to use our heat gun. This is the beautiful lacing you get from an alcohol swipe. I 
I love all the different colors that are showing up there inside each of those cells and they will gradually grow, but this is what's called lacing. You have lacing kind of around the cells. And that's what the alcohol lets you do. Just show you the whole thing. 